okay guys uh, let's start with the first uh, gaming project now uh, there's a few things that you need to note before we start with the gaming projects uh, see gaming is not something that i know most of you would do uh, but the thing is that it's not just the projects that you learn it's uh, more about the logic that you run behind those projects that actually counts and gaming is actually a really good uh, way of doing that on top of that uh, your projects may not directly need uh, gaming but the gaming is entirely built on the graphics that are there and a lot of your projects can really use a graphical touch a good user interface would definitely uh, improve your chances of winning either a hackathon or a project competition or whatever it is okay so you will learn some basic graphic elements here and uh, like any uh, software we will have a small library for that okay we will use turtle which is inbuilt in python so you don't actually need to install anything uh, turtle that is then python for graphic uh, components we will use that particular thing and we will not uh, go very deep into the graphic portion we will just uh, show you some basic things here and from there i want to explain you how this uh, entire week will actually run okay so uh, first i will give you some basic uh, understanding of how turtle works okay how it works in python uh, other than that you will have a link okay uh, in the description of this video you will have a link which will be uh, redirecting you and i will show you that in the video as well uh, to the page where all the functions the inbuilt function of python uh, turtle is given and what they are used for i will show you the basic uh, tools that you basic functions that you require to make something okay how creative you can go with that that's up to you okay once that is done uh, after that and i will show you this by making uh, let's say a small rectangle filling it with color uh, running some circles around something like that okay some basic elements of graphics once that is done uh, then i will walk you through uh, to the logic of the two codes okay we'll uh, do two projects for you uh, first will be the snakes project okay uh, a simple uh, blue box in which uh, items will appear if you are able to eat them your length will increase if you touch the wall the game is over something like that and second is actually uh, egg catcher okay egg catcher is a project which you will actually do uh, in which things will be falling from the sky and the speed will increase and you will have a basket or something like that towards the end and you have to catch these okay there will be number of lives mentioned the number of eggs that you have caught uh, if certain number of let's say 3 5 10 uh, eggs are dropped then the game is over okay so these sort of games will uh, make initially and the videos will explain you the entire uh, second video will explain you the logic third video will talk about the code of the snakes game and the fourth video will talk about the codes of the uh, egg catcher game other than that uh, if possible we will share some extra uh, documents with you all these particular videos okay so let's say video 3 will have the snakes game uh, you will have the video in which we will run you through the code that is there okay please don't copy the code that we are typing we will give you a direct uh, running code copy okay but don't try to use that particular thing in your codes because if you don't code things by yourself it's not about uh, memorizing the functions you can look it up anytime it doesn't make any sense for you to memorize anything but if you don't learn how to resolve the error that you are getting or to let's say we gave an example of rectangle or you want to do it with a circle and you don't know how to search how to draw this circle then there's no use of you learning this particular thing so we don't want you to uh, type what you are typing okay uh, what we are doing on the screen it's not a typing class it's a game learning class or a project development class so we would like to focus you we will explain you how this thing is work okay how the logic was built from the logic we will draw some flow charts okay from this flow chart we will show you how exactly the code is actually derived once that particular thing is done then you can uh, check the uh, python file or we'll give a python notebook which you can download and run other than that we will give you a description okay a pdf description of the project uh, that will explain you every component that we have in the file other than that it will have a very colorful uh, pdf version of this thing is there and that will walk you through how every single component work okay so you will have the notes you will have the codes you don't have to write or note anything the only objective here is that you understand how some things work and if you want to modify into some of those things then you can do that particular thing it's a very important request please don't uh, type uh, the things that we are 
teaching you that is not going to help that's something that most of the projects that we have seen online really miss out on they just ask you to type behind them and they assume that you have done a project you haven't done that project that guy has okay so make sure you don't run this particular thing behind you and as i said uh, we will discuss four set of projects first will be in gaming three others you already know and the fifth project will be something that you have to build okay so if you want to build a project you would need to understand how exactly it's built okay what are the various components if i want to do something different how do i do that all those components are very important for you to understand okay not just for this particular course but in practice you will never be given the exact same thing that you have learned but you will have to learn how to figure it out okay we'll have our tas they will definitely help you out towards that you will have the comment section for interaction sunday if you need we will have live sessions for those things anything that you require will be given but it's you that who has to figure out the problems that you are going to have or the innovation that you have to do to create something different okay so in this uh, next video you will understand how turtles uh, work in python where you can look up for more functions uh, i think there are some 200 plus functions that are there we'll just uh, work with some 10 15 in the next video to explain you how this thing works we will if you explain it for a rectangle you can draw a triangle circle semicircle all those things on your own okay the documentations are very well defined for that other than that we will show you how did we make the logic for two projects and how do you derive from a logic and this logic will be a very simple thing that okay if this happens then this thing will happen if this thing happens then this depending on a condition you either take this route or this route the basic flow chart okay so this particular thing you can draw on a piece of paper for your own project and then we will explain how do you code this entire thing taking the help of the documentation and make the entire project so next time when you have a different logic or a different game in your mind you can code all those things and you can make a simple game out of that okay so that's the objective of the first course or the entire project course actually so please do try to follow with that if you have any doubts please reach out to us in the comments your comments will be replied immediately so don't worry about any of those okay so i really hope that you learn something important something good from this course so let's start